Hey everybody, wanted to talk through today all of the things I do when I'm setting up a new computer to be a presentation computer, whether that is ProPresenter or PowerPoint or whatever your presentation software of choice is. Uh, there's just a few tweaks you need to make whenever you get a new Mac out of the box to make sure that it's uh, set up the best it can be for presentations. So we're going to make a lot of changes here in system preferences, and then we're going to make some finder tweaks as well. First place we're going to go is desktop and screensaver, and we're just going to disable uh, our screensaver altogether probably. Right now the default is set for 20 minutes. Uh, one hour, if you're comfortable setting it at one hour, then be free to do that, but Every once in a while, we have a situation where the media computer isn't touched for an hour, but we need it not to go to screensaver. So I like to just say never. And then for our desktop, what we're going to do is set the background to be solid black. And the reason we want to do this is every once in a while, a presentation software will crash. And if the software crashes and then something like this desktop of these mountains pops up, people will instantly know something is very wrong. Whereas if a uh, presentation software crashes and they just see a black screen, they might think it was intentional. So we're just going to go into the solid colors in the sidebar here, and then we're just going to set the background to solid black. There we go. And then one other thing, go back in the screensaver tab and make sure that hot corners is off. If you like to use this feature, that's fine, but it's really not good for presentation computers because operators sometimes lose the mouse and searching for the mouse, they'll fling it wildly and can accidentally wind up hitting a hot corner, which will do whatever you've set up your hot corner to do, uh, which most people set them up to either start the screensaver or lock the computer, which is not something you ever want to have happen. So just make sure that all of your hot corners uh, are disabled here. So next, we are going to jump over into the dock section, and we're going to make sure that the magnification is off, just because when you're trying to get at those tiny buttons that are at the bottom of a presentation software, you don't want the dock jumping up in your face like this. So we just want to make sure that we disable magnification. I think it's disabled by default, but that might just be this computer. Next, we are going to security and privacy. And what we're going to do here is go in the general tab. And we are, by default, it is set to require password five minutes uh, after sleep or screensaver begins. And that's not what we want. So even though we just disabled our screensaver, we want to make sure that this thing is not looking for a password at all. And you'll have to type in your password to tell it that you don't want it to ask for a password. We're going to turn off screen lock. And you also want to make sure that this area down here is checked. Uh, we want to allow apps downloaded from App Store and identified developers, just in case you ever need to download uh, a third party app that's not available through the App Store. Next up, we're going to go in the notifications section, and we're just going to disable notifications entirely. There's no need for any notifications on a presentation computer. There's two ways to do this. Uh, the slow way would be to go in here for every single app and just uncheck it, and then you'll have to make sure to uncheck all these things every time you install a new app. Or the easier way to do it is to just go in the Do Not Disturb tab, and we're going to say Do Not Disturb, and we're going to set it from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. And then there will never be any notifications unless, I guess, you got one at 11.59, between 11.59 p.m. and 12 a.m. But that's the quickest way to disable uh, all of your notifications. Next up, we're going to go to the Energy Saver tab, and this is going to look different if you are on a desktop or a laptop. I am on a laptop right now, and what we want to do is make sure that this turn display off after is disabled. Um, in the case of laptops, and I think a, a desktop like an iMac or a Mac Pro has this options too, three hours is generally okay. Um, it's, it's pretty rare that you would have a presentation situation where the computer wouldn't be touched for more than three hours. So that's typically where I set it. But if you have a situation where that's the case, then you would just set it to never. And you want to make sure to do that for both uh, battery and power adapter. 
Um, and which again, that's only an option because I'm on a laptop right now. If you're on a desktop, you'll only, I, I don't think these tabs show up. Um, we want to prevent the computer from sleeping automatically when the display is off. Um, putting hard disk to sleep when possible. Eh, I can go back and forth on this one. Putting the hard disk to sleep just causes it to take a few more seconds if you need to quickly search for a file. Um, and then we're just going to leave these other things checked here. Next up, we are going into the mouse settings. And right now I have just a regular Apple mouse plugged in. I actually personally like to have a two button mouse for presentations just so that you don't accidentally push the right side of the mouse when you don't mean to or accidentally push the left side when you mean to push the right side. But I do uh, always, whatever mouse I'm using, like to turn up the tracking speed because by default, it's way down here. It just feels like you're dragging a mouse through the mud. I personally like it up here two notches from the top. And then just set if you want this to be primary button all the way across or primary and secondary, AKA left click and right click. Uh, personally, that's what I prefer. And then I would suggest disabling this third, uh, third button option, which this is with wired Apple mouse. I don't think a wireless, uh, magic mouse has this option, but if you're using the wired mice, disable this third one, people hit it by accident all the time. You're just asking for trouble. Uh, similarly, if you're on a laptop, you'll go in the trackpad section and we're going to set our trackpad speed. We're going to turn it up. I, this is sort of just a do whatever feels good to you situation. I'm still usually two or three notches from the top. It actually sort of varies with the laptop and particularly the screen size. If you want to have right click with a uh, two finger click makes it a right click feel free. This is sort of personal preference as far as everything in all of these tabs. Now we are going into the sound tab and this is probably the most important one. I can't stand whenever I am sitting in a place and I hear somebody turn the volume up or down on a Mac. It's because they didn't disable this checkbox right here. Play feedback when volume is changed. We want to make sure it is unchecked so we don't hear the little pop, pop, pop as people are turning the volume up and down. We're also going to uncheck this box that says play user interface sound effects. That would be if you are like moving files around, copying and pasting files from one place to another. That's where it would make a user interface sound effect. And we don't want that in a presentation situation. If, if we need to be copying files in the background while a presentation is happening. And also, you know, make sure that your outputs are routed correctly right now. Internal speakers are all I have plugged in, but if you're outputting through HDMI or through a USB interface, whatever, just make sure that your outputs are going to the correct place. Um, we're going to go in the App Store tab, and we want to... Uh, this, this isn't really an issue anymore. It used to be more of an issue with Windows computers that they would automatically download updates and automatically restart. Uh, Macs don't really do this anymore. They tend to ask you before they restart. Um, I will say I, I personally like to uncheck these install app updates and in, especially this one, install Mac OS updates, because you never know, uh, particularly with ProPresenter, you never know that it's going to be compatible right away with new Mac OS. So you want to uncheck that and make sure that you are ready to update Mac OS uh, when it's time. So right now we're actually good here because none of this is going to automatically install. It's going to ask us um, if you if you have a computer that's publicly accessible or accessible to people that, you know, might take advantage of the situation. Maybe just make sure that it always requires your password for in-app purchases. We are going to go now. That's that's pretty much all we need to do in system preferences. Now we're gonna make just a few more finder tweaks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, all of these icons are in the dock by default with the exception of QuickTime because that's what I'm using to record my screen right now. We are gonna drag all of the irrelevant apps out of the dock. So typically if it's a, if it's a presentation computer and not somebody's personal machine, they're not gonna need mail or FaceTime or any of that stuff. Speaking of, I, I didn't mention that, but make sure that FaceTime is disabled on your computer because that is the last thing you want 
when somebody uh, is giving a presentation is to receive a FaceTime call. So all you have to do is go on there and turn FaceTime off. Command K, I think, is the keyboard shortcut. Or just make sure that you're not logged into anything. We're going to continue dragging these icons out. Uh, I will leave iTunes occasionally if that's where music is coming out of. Uh, we don't need Launchpad. We don't need Siri. We'll keep system preferences. We'll keep the App Store. We'll keep Safari or whatever browser uh, you prefer. And I'm going to do one other thing to this doc, and that is I'm going to go to my MacBook. Or actually, tell you what, we're going to go to Finder Preferences. And we are going to show hard disks on the desktop, which is the fastest way to get to where I'm going. I'm going to go into that uh, Macintosh HD, and I'm going to take this Applications folder and drag it right here. That way, if you ever need quick access to applications, it just saves you a click because it's right here in the dock. Um, while I've got this little Finder preferences up here, I'm also going to make sure that new Finder windows don't show Recents. I personally prefer them to show Desktop. You may want them to show Documents because that is where ProPresenter saves uh, your ProPresenter files. I personally prefer the Desktop. And I'm going to go here and make sure that the sidebar is only showing what I want to show. I personally never use the Recents tab. I don't use iCloud Drive. Um, we're going to leave Downloads, Documents, Desktop, Applications. We don't really need any of this Movies, Music, Pictures, Design. Um, and we want to see hard disks and external disks in the sidebar. Uh, tags, if you use them, feel free to leave it. I never do, so I always uncheck that. And then we're going to go in this Advanced tab, and we're going to check this box that says Show All File Name Extensions. And this just makes it easier to quickly see if you have images or MP3s or whatever, what file type it is to make sure it's the file that you are looking for whenever you're about to drop it into your presentation software. One last thing, we're going to go into AirDrop. And we are going to probably just make us discoverable by no one because you don't really want anybody airdropping anything to you in, in the middle of your presentation. Uh, if you trust contacts only, then that is your decision. I personally, when it's a presentation computer, I like to say no one just because I'm not typically looking to airdrop something in the middle of a presentation. Uh, and some people will, especially if you have events that have large crowds, that is just a thing that people do uh, is that they will just randomly airdrop files either by mistake or as a joke, and they'll just airdrop it to everybody nearby. So it's easiest just to go ahead and disable airdrop altogether. One last thing. I know I said airdrop was the last thing. Uh, we're going to right click on the desktop and say show view options. And let's sort by Oh, we're in the AirDrop tab. Let's close these windows so that it knows I'm talking about the desktop. There we go. We are going to sort by and say Snap to Grid. That just helps clean, keep your uh, desktop a little bit cleaner so that you don't have files getting stuck overlaid on top of each other. It makes it so that they sit in a nice, neat grid, which you can't really see because I only have one file on the desktop right now. But it just makes sure that they're nice and evenly spaced and you don't wind up with six images stacked on top of each other and you're having to physically move files around the desktop so that you can reach the one you want. That about wraps it up. This is everything I like to do. It just makes presentations run a little bit smoother. It removes any unexpected surprises. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.